Seeing the green landscape and waterfalls of Salala, Amman during the summer makes you forget you're in the Arabian Peninsula. Colourful Salala is unlike any other city in the region and it provided a spectacular backdrop for the Ironman 70.3. This exciting three-day event was organised by Triathlon Middle East, the Ministry of Heritage and Tourism and the Dauphin Municipality. Well, you can see why it is important. Uh, the gathering uh, of uh, the many people that came from uh, everywhere, uh, literally they are here to enjoy themselves, uh, to explore the country, and I'm sure there will be good ambassadors for Oman when they go back. Uh, the experience that they are getting from the, uh, the event uh, and uh, the exploration and uh, uh, the going around the country to, to get uh, uh, close to the many uh, uh, aspects of uh, our culture, heritage, uh, landscape. Hosted in the beautiful Hawana Salala, the event included not just the main race, but an impressive lineup of activities for both athletes and spectators. The first day was reserved for registration and the welcome party, which brought everyone closer together ahead of the race. When we look at the feelings of uh being an athlete yourself, then uh, organizing such events for your same community as a triathlete, they come to race with me, uh, or race for uh, my events, it means a lot for me. I was actually, I, I walked into this location, by, I would say, not even centimeters and meters by meters, like in, in three days, trying to make sure they will have the experience that I had in this the last 10 years in this place. The second day was dedicated to family-centered Iron Kids. Parents, families and friends cheered on the young racers who enjoyed the excitement and spirit of friendly competition. في مشاركة 700 متسابق و1500 مرافق من أكثر من 60 دولة حول العالم متشوقين لخوض تجربة فريدة من نوعها في جوهرة عمان محافظة الضفار التي تتميز بأربع فصول مختلفة عن باقي دول الشرق الأوسط. On the third day, more than 700 athletes from 63 countries lined up for the Ironman 70.3 men's and women's triathlon race. The Hawana Salala is a world-class luxury tourism destination and the ideal host as the swim, bike and run courses were all located in one area with the hotel being minutes away from the start line. For triathletes I can say it's a paradise. Uh, they are very close to the uh, swim start and the finish transition area is ideal. Of course, in a beautiful venue, especially with the whole event all in this one area. So you have the swim right here, the run right here, and then the bike, and you come out, but everybody's staying in the same hotels right here. So that makes it really, really close, and, and it, all the athletes are, we all know each other from other races, so that's, that's what makes the Ironman community really nice. The 1.9 kilometre swim course was in the breathtaking turquoise waters of Hawana Lagoons, while the 90.1 kilometre bike course took athletes along the majestic coastline of the Indian Ocean, with parts of it on the highway leading from Salala to Murbat. The final four loop 20.1 kilometre run course took athletes around the spectator friendly streets of Hawana Salala, with the finish line in the heart of the marina. In the men's category, Frenchman Etienne Tillon took victory, Mohamed Issa from Bahrain finished second, with Britain's David Haynes in third. I wasn't thinking about first, I was thinking about just doing well, doing my race strategy and seeing what happens. Uh, I knew that I was a strong swimmer, uh, so I could use that to my advantage. 
and yeah, we'd see how the race goes from there. In the women's category, Germany's Leah Lienschuft claimed first place, followed by Britain's Daisy Baker in second and South African Melissa Abbey in third. I couldn't believe it. Uh, it was such an amazing race. Uh, very, very tough conditions, I have to say, even though I train in the heat, but that was a tough one. This race might be over, but Ironman 70.3 will be back next February in Amman's capital, Muscat. It'll be another epic adventure. Don't miss it.